YouTube, it's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. T Gang in the building, what up? Today we're going to discuss license plates, sublimation on license plates. Can we get the job done? Let's see. Let's find out. All that and more after the end. Right for the aim, you got a right for the boy. That rifle what? came with a cane, that fuck huh? five with the aim. Six you guys know about a few things before getting into this. I went online and I purchased from Amazon, from a particular company, supposedly sublimation plates. Now they didn't turn right, and I had to inform the customer about the uh, decision that had happened, or should I say the accident that had happened. When I went to sublimate on that license plate, the picture didn't go over as well. Kind of looked kind of chalky. There was no vibrancy. And the background white was kind of coming through the color. Now, once again, I don't shout out companies that don't put out good products. So I'm not going to say exactly where I got it from. But I did find the right plate. And as you can see, there's two plates. Now, this is the one that was supposed to be a sublimation plate. As you can see, it's white on both sides. And it kind of gives that gloss like you can sublimate on it, but you can't. This is the right plate right here, however. It has the aluminum back, and it has a sublimation coat on the front. Now, if you set them side by side, I mean, they look almost identical. And I can tell the difference between the two, but you might not be able to tell throughout the lenses. One's a little bit darker grayish white, and then uh, the one that you can't use is like white white. So beware of that when purchasing these sublimation plates. Also, you can make a lot of profit off of these plates as it costs money to get these from the license plates bureau. So if you add this or incorporate this. You can always turn it around like I have done and you can almost see the outline of the license plate and where the blank spots are going to be and almost get a feel for how it's going to be on the actual plate. Now I'm not expecting it to be perfect because this is my first time but I'm going to try to get as close to perfect as I can get it and if you can't get it right the first time try over and over and over until you do get it right. Eventually you'll succeed. As you can see, I have the temperature set at 380 degrees, and I'm going to press for 30 seconds. Now, I've heard everywhere that you're supposed to press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. However, I think that's a little bit too long. 
Now, I might try it once I do the cotton sub video again, because there's going to be a part three to that, and see if that works a little bit. But for me, I found that 380 degrees works best at 30 seconds, especially for this heat press nation press. So what I've done is I cut my parchment paper, and I actually got a big old roll over there. Um, show them the roll. Something you find at a butcher shop. <laughs> I find it's cheaper to, to do it that way. And I'm going to put my uh, license plates down, image up, and I'm going to cover it again with another piece of craft paper. Make sure that my platen is adjusted because I want a little bit of pressure on here as we are sublimating. Usually use light pressure, but I really want it to clamp down. Lift it up, let it restart itself, then clamp down. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's magic under here. Um, guys, this is gonna be fairly hot, so I wouldn't advise just picking it straight up. Some of you out there got the war wound fingers like I got. You wanna place it on a cool area before doing any of that because trust me, them burns hurt. Just a few seconds. Look like I might have been able to press a little bit longer, but we're going to find out. So you know me. I don't do the corners really that much anymore. And I heard about ghosting, but I like to tear mine in half. That way I can just reveal the plate all at once. Or whatever it is, I sublimate it. <laughs> Still a little bit warm, guys. Might want to have some gloves if you got tender fingers. Okay. Fight with the tape first. But the final version doesn't look too bad. And it says, Black Lives Matter. In the middle, I can't read. George Floyd. So if you guys made it to the this part of the video, you might as well like, subscribe, comment, and uh, the Grizzly Fit merch is dropping July 20th, 2020. I was saying the 21st, but I think 2020 sounds a lot better. And so the next time, I'm out.